Hello all. So, as we expected, the buyer has pulled out and we are back to square one. And all the agent said to me was, um, you were right and I was wrong. What sort of thing is that to say? Anyhow, I had a good long chat with my son yesterday um, about what to do, whether to switch agents now or do this. But he, he had a, he was quite sensible about it actually. He said, just stay with them now because you're so close to Australia and you need to concentrate on that, otherwise you're not going to enjoy it. He said, bah, he said, perhaps tame the garden a bit. So I can kind of see what he means. He was explaining that although it's a beautiful garden for you and you love all that overgrown jungle feel, think of a family coming around here. Where are they going to put the barbecue? Where are they going to put the slides? Where are they going to do this? He said, so just tame it back a bit. So that's been my job. And yesterday afternoon I started it. So let me show you. Um, yeah. So I dismantled the broken furniture and I cleared a lot of this out. But as you can see, my garden is quite jungly. And there's quite a lot to do actually. And this is all, there's bags and bags of garden rubbish already. But um, I've cleared, like I've got, I cleared that side and I, I've cleared under here. Um, and I've just making my way up the garden, but I kind of see what he means. It's like, the perhaps this is overgrown a bit. I can tame this back, but maybe this bit here needs taming back in the back a bit. But that won't take me long. That's just trimming up the, the bamboo. It's just finding the time to do it. But I spent a couple of hours out here yesterday. Oh, I need to wash those cushion covers. Um, I spent a couple of hours out here yesterday and I got quite a lot done. And now I'm going to load my car up with all these bags and um, take them up to the recycling centre. I'm supposed to call it the recycling centre now, I think, not the tip. Um, I've, got, I've got the H chair in the car for, oh, that was a drama. <laughs> but I didn't have my spanners here, they were in the van at the gym, so I couldn't dismantle the frame. Anyhow, I'm going to get myself off to the tip, load the car and go off, and then I'll be back with you later. Oh, so I'm back from the recycling centre and I couldn't actually get that much in the car after I got that flipping egg chair in there. So, um, yeah. So I think I shall have some lunch and then I'll get on with this. So today I'm going to tackle this side. I'm going to get rid of this bush um, and then clear this up wash these cushions and uh, tidy up this this and then make my way up good lordy <laughs> this might take a bit of time yes. this won't take too long this just what's trimming back so once I've got it all chopped back and made space I can then deck wash everything uh, well, power wash the deck and everything and make it all look bigger and brighter. So, that's that. So, I was saying earlier, so the estate agent rang me to say that I was right and he was wrong. Huh. But he also called me, well, he dropped me a message to ask me if I was free to speak yesterday um, to try and palm me off on an auctioneer. Uh, said then uh, I wouldn't have to pay his fees and someone else could deal with it. If you want rid of me, just say you want rid of me. Anyhow, no, I think we'll just leave it as it is for now and spend this time getting the house looking more f like family friendly and not so scary for people that don't like jungle gardens and don't like bohemian. So it does mess up my plans a, a bit, well, quite a bit, but, you know, I'm still going to Australia and the only thing really that's any different is I can't go away for more than two months at a time because of my house insurance will then be void. So I could, in theory, still go to Portugal um, and I'm still going to Madeira for Christmas and I could still go to Antigua because all of those I would have had to fly back to the UK anyway. It's just when it gets to March time when I wanted to really disappear into Asia for, you know, a year to 18 months before I came home. But we'll just play it by ear. It's not all lost. Um, I'm sure these things happen for a reason and... Uh, It'll all be fine. It'll all work out. I'm just not going to get stressed about it. No point. OK.
could enjoy my garden for the next six weeks. <laughs> so, ooh, making me sneezy. But thank you for watching, and um, oh, I'm sure you can't wait to see how I made that garden look presentable. <laughs> Take care. Thanks a lot. Bye.